Welcome to this BR185.2 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the start and stop procedures. Climb aboard to get started. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. This locomotive draws power from the overhead electrical supply via a contact arm mounted on the roof. For this to work, we'll need to set up and then raise the pantograph. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. We now need to wait a moment and let the brake system charge. It'll take a minute or two. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. When stopped for longer periods of time, or when leaving the cab, a parking brake is engaged. We'll need to ensure this is released in order to get moving. Use the master switch to determine the direction of travel. The train brake is used for normal line operations. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical systems. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power and focus can be diverted towards achieving the desired speed. Coasting is a method used to easily move without engaging power. On a flat gradient, this is great for maintaining a speed limit. To bring this freight train to a safe stop, only a small amount of braking force is required. Practice and experience will teach you how much force you'll need. Good work. 
That concludes all of the basics of this locomotive. Welcome to this BR143 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction we will go through the start and stop procedures. Climb aboard to get started. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. This locomotive draws power from the overhead electrical supply via a pantograph mounted on the roof. For this to work, we'll need to set up which configuration we'll be using. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. We now need to wait a moment and let the brake system charge. It'll take a minute or two. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. The train brake is used for normal line operations. When stopped for longer periods of time or when leaving the cab, a handbrake is engaged. We'll need to ensure this is released in order to get moving. The force selector determines how much tractive effort force is being supplied to the train. AFB allows the driver to easily amend the speed of a locomotive as required. Once a desired speed is set, indicated by a red needle on the speedometer, the locomotive will automatically adjust to meet that speed.
prepare the train for stopping, AFB should first be turned off. The size and weight of a train play a large part in determining how much braking force is needed to perform a safe, steady stop. Good work, that is the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this locomotive.